There's not one set rule on how I figure out what to react to and break down. Next, it's a mixture of what people have recommended to me. I've obviously got that list that keeps going on and on and on, or it's a little bit of research on what has recently been released. So as I was doing my search on YouTube, a video of Linkin Park Numb live popped up. As I continued my research, I realized that I actually hadn't ever heard the original and that this was a performance with their new singer of the band, Emily Armstrong. So before I watch that one, I should probably watch the original. So that's what we're going to do today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And yes, I will be reacting to and breaking down Numb by Linkin Park. I hope you're beginning to realize that there is a certain genre, an era of music that completely went over my head. Like I was fully immersed in musical theater so that was what I was driving with and if I was listening to something non-musical theatre it was something like Bruce Springsteen it was something like we could even go back to like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, The Carpenters, Doris Day oh my gosh just saying this out loud is just so interesting because I listen to so many different things now <laughs> but this is what's great about this channel like obviously i'm providing reaction and analysis videos but also i'm opening up to like new music for myself that i've just missed out on it's all very exciting today i will be reacting to and breaking down numb by lincoln park as always this is a reaction and an analysis video so i will be stopping and talking about the vocals if you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted i've left the link to the original video in the description below and also do let me know in the comments below if you think i should react to and analyze the their latest uh, performance of this. I don't know what the song is, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know why I picked up my tea. It's currently piping hot still, so popping that down. It was probably just to let you know that I've got a link to my merch site in the description below, so do go and check it out if you want to. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and let's get to Numb by Linkin Park. Oh, okay. I, I, as soon, I don't know if you noticed, as soon as da, 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 that introduction happened, I was like, I've definitely heard this song. So, okay, cool. It's brought back something, some sort of memory. But anyway, let's talk about his vocals. There is a lovely, natural, bright setting to uh, our vocalist here, Chester Bennington. It seems very, it seems like this is very natural to him, where his attractor state is, where he would talk. It's a little bit like a higher place larynx. Everyone's vocal anatomy is different, right? Some people have really thick vocal folds, some people have naturally thin, thinner vocal folds, short, long, it's a little bit higher, it sits naturally lower, it has more breath coming through, you know, we all, this is what makes us unique, we all have different uh, voices, but it's just interesting how it's a very bright tone, it's a very, it's quite a small bright tone, which just means that the larynx is naturally a little bit higher, but let's go back, um, yeah, that was just interesting. I was like, I definitely have heard this, but I cannot remember where it goes. <laughs> Yeah, there's a really nice speech-like quality. There's a slight vocal fry uh, um, on the the second line. Feeling so faithless, lost, un lost under the surf. There you go. Yeah, lost under because there's a bit of a glottal onset there. So we have. It's nice to play around with a bit of vocal fry sometimes. Lost under the surface. The vowels are really are quite small as well. Again helping with the overall brightness uh the lyrics i'm tired of being what you want me to be feeling like you know straight to the point feeling so faithless lost under the surface i feel like it's very much um it again has brought me back uh, also the music video being set in a school <laughs> but it's it's brought me back to um yeah just feeling left out and not like heard 
So that's kind of interesting. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. But under the pressure of walking in your shoes. Okay, cool. I love how uh, yeah, to intense this. If we were to soften that up and increase with the vibrato straight away, it kind of opens up this and makes it a bit warm. The fact that it's quite straight tone, uh, it's quite cutting and it soars through the, the musical elements as that is in, uh, uh, increasing, getting, you know, this is the little bridge before the chorus now. So it's kind of building intensifying with that so I love how that just soars through what's interesting here as well is the backing vocals just it's almost like a whispery monotonous um caught in the under what's it saying caught in the undertow just caught in the undertow does he repeat that twice but it's just da, 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 just there under the breath um sunk very breathy every step that i take these top notes as well really remaining lovely and thick we're kind of not straying we're remaining in these thick in this thick fold speech like quality not flipping into like a softer kind of quality up there towards the end we get a little bit breathy sometimes as well with his vocals but otherwise kind of staying in this quality and letting that straight tone soar into the the chorus open as well Oh, I love how this went into the next verse as well, really straight away. So hold on, is be more like me and be less like, yeah, all these open vowels. You know, we're very heavily distorted here. We're throwing lots of distortion uh, in the vocal line here, creating this painful emotion, uh, emotion that's highlighting this. Like not only is this the chorus, but the way it's sang, there's consistent distortion throughout this. Um, okay, yeah. Do you remember when at the beginning when I was like, I don't know this, that it's because I wasn't a huge, I wasn't embossed in, embossed? Is that the right word I'm looking for? Lincoln Park, I wasn't. So I have heard this song. And as we progress, I probably remember more and more. <laughs> but I would not be able to like, I, I wouldn't have been able to like, yeah, this is a song. Da, 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 da. Um, it's really interesting just listening, like focusing on his vocals i love the delivery it's just quite still and how it's shot as well with the mic just there with all the instruments musicians around really cool oh by the way if you're enjoying this content and want more content the place to be the place to go to is patreon the link is in the description below I love this like holding out to yeah and we get the backing vocalist as well and really interesting going from that distortion going back to the clean uh clear voice going back to this distortion it's kind of that's amping up a lot of the drama as well i'm getting a little bit of a um evanescence type feel which again was another band that i wasn't really hugely familiar with i knew like a couple songs but i, I must have missed all of that i know they were very popular when i was at school um but i think I expect, like obviously this is set and the music video has a lead character of someone who is at school is getting bullied is um you know struggling with kind of being heard and fitting in and just understanding where they what they need to be doing so these songs are just so important and they're very popular i mean obviously it's got two billion views but very popular because it was like suddenly we had a voice suddenly there was there was someone that was speaking our minds and it's put popped into a song so it's very very relatable the harshness the clarity of the vocals anyway let's continue playing i'm really enjoying it So 
sorry, just on this one, every step, do you hear the little bit of distortion in there as well, just letting that rattle? And also, a step that I take is an is another there's like a da da like a, a little step up there it's really whew, it's quite right in your face I love these big vowels as well that obviously the more open we are, the more we're utilizing um, a bigger space to create this bigger sound, the more we're having like distortion in the in the voice. It's really effective. Uh, the music video is really sad. Obviously, it fits with the song and the message of the song. It's really it's like not being able to speak. And then these are just all the thoughts. It's done really well. Um, I was also, yeah, yeah, just before the chorus, that build up, we got a little bit more. We had an extra line, I think um lyrically yeah before it was, every step that i take is another mistake to you we just went straight into it i think but the more that i can take again big open a vowels and we kind of hint a little bit the distortion before we get to the chorus and really let rip I learned, so the chords was just held out there as we kind of got this repeated motive. Uh, it's it's a very high intense vocal line up here, which you know, if you've clicked on this video and you're a fan of Linkin Park, I can imagine singing along to this song, watching them live, just singing along, like it's very intense and very. You know, it's written up in this part of his range because he has to be a bit more intense and support it up there to get this full sound. He's remaining really thick. You know, if it was written a little bit lower, it wouldn't have the same effect. So it's really, imagine everyone just like, da, 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 da. You're screaming out these words of, um, I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. Becoming so, become so tired, so much more aware. I'm becoming this. All I want to do is be more like me. You know, it's all these, I want, da, 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 da. So imagine screaming this out. It's kind of a, very moving line yeah there's a lot to unpack in the music video wise as well so in in the music video as well like the acting and what the our lead protagonist actor is going through as well and I know You can actually see fell into the tongue stretch forward. Obviously, this is a music video, so we're singing over the top. But it, I mean, it looks very much like he is making sound as well. He's not just lip syncing to it. Fell You can see the tongue stretch forward. The tongue's a huge muscle. It's got many muscles. It's going to get in the way sometimes. So if we just stretch out forward and kind of da da, not only is this going to pop the tongue, uh, you know, at the bottom nice and flat and relaxed there but we're kind of sending that energy forward out as well rather than letting that voice swallow and it obviously needs this for this part and the delivery so the chord progressions follow space What 
I love the different there's a there's a really strong difference between um both singers here had there was a uh, uh, at the beginning there was more at the beginning of this little section there was more of a harmony on the chorus then when we repeat the chorus there's a bit more of a counter melody so we're hearing his lines our second singer shine a little bit more through it it's a lot more breathy a lot less contact with the vocal folds um i wonder what's the lyrics that he is singing tired of what you want me to be yeah so he's going back to the verse lyrics um so it's a bit more reflected kind of like just going through everything whereas with the lead chorus lines it's that intense oh passionate feel they are also singing in a that's a church i love that holding out Where do they go? You arrived a little bit too late. Um, that I, when you are feeling <laughs> like you are not heard and you just want to kind of let rip, I feel like this is the perfect song to just crank up in your room and be like, da, 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 da. Um, I wish I could just go back and experience that <laughs> because I, I was like, mm, let's put some Disney on. <laughs> Um, no, I really enjoy that. It'll be interesting to hear the recent performance with their new singer. Really enjoyed that delivery and the whole the whole meaning of the song. I really enjoyed that. There is truly a whole world that I just don't know <laughs> in music. And there's the whole world I do know. So each their own. But thank you very much for joining me on today's reaction and analysis video. If you want me to react to more Linkin Park live performances more of their music videos let me know in the comments below and i'll see what i can do but otherwise do hit that subscribe button and the bell button and the thumbs up button and do go over and check me out on patreon as well the link is in the description below there's lots of fun things going on over there but i will see you very soon for another video Bye.